Hi, Pat. So, <laughs> um, as you probably know, if you're watching this portion of this video, which I will not put in the big video, um, we made you a video. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Um, it's Emma Solberg, proud South Eugene Theater alum, class of 2011. Pat Avery. Hey, it's me, Charlie. Uh, I heard that you're retiring, and I wanted to give you a couple of words. Hi, Pat. This is Brian Sun from your class of 2016. Hi, Pat. My name is Haley Forrester, and I graduated from South in 2013. Hey, Pat. Hi, Pat. This is Emily here. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. Hi, Pat. This is Ansel. Hi, Pat. It's Natalie here. Hi, Pat. Good to virtually see you. <laughs> this is literally like take three because I'm just struggling so much with like what I want to say. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. Pat. Patrick Avery. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. I'll, uh, I'll try to keep this short and sweet. Hey, Pat. <laughs> hey, Pat. Can't believe it's in 20 years, man. Hello, Pat. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. It's Larissa. Hey, Pat. It's Henry. Hi, Pat. Pat is one of my favorite teachers I've ever had, for sure. You helped me so much in finding my place and welcoming me into the department. I think most adults have that one teacher that they can point back to and say, yeah, that person really, really cared about me and they pushed me to be my best and they were my friend. And for me, that teacher will always be Pat. And you'll always, always learn something new in class with Pat, just because he always has something to teach. I was just thinking about how much you've impacted my life and all the people who were in class with me. And I was like, my God, he's impacted so many lives over his career. And um, I just think that's like a really extraordinary thing. I will always think of Pat as one of my most influential mentors in life because he has taught me so much about acting, but also just life skills. Pat has shaped me into the actress and person I am today. I could not thank you enough. I could not do this without you, Pat. Pat, you have been one of the most influential teachers in my life. You've really created a wonderful program where so many students have been able to explore the arts. And I know that I've been personally influenced by you. You pushed me um, in such an amazing way to be a better and fiercer actor. I've enjoyed learning from you more than I have ever any teacher before and most likely ever will again. You're a really amazing leader who really cares about his students, which is why they're able to produce such amazing work. I felt very seen by Pat. He didn't see us just as silly young high schoolers. He saw us as people with potential and imagination. And he, he guided us, but he also allowed us to step up to the plate and trusted us. Simply put, I think he knows how to get the best out of people. We are so lucky to have a teacher who trusted us with such intense and sometimes really daunting material, um, but who kind of pushed us out of the nest and made us figure it out on our own, but was there to support us along the way. He just trusted us so much. Um, he trusted us with really difficult material and with really complicated theory that helped us get through the really difficult material. Uh, and he just always treated us like we were smart, capable adults, and that turned us into exactly that. There aren't words for what Pat has meant to me. He was always a role model for me in how much effort he put in. I know I will be forever grateful for the opportunities that you gave us to explore and create on our own terms. The ways that you encouraged us to participate in and to shape each show and the department as a whole were really impactful and showed that even as students and young adults, we have an important voice in the society and we have the power to create change and to create art how we want to. You really helped incubate that passion and that drive for learning in me. I'm going to be an elementary school teacher this coming year. I'm about to finish my master's program and I'm going to be trying to encourage that love for lifelong learning and my kids and the first time that I realized I wanted to be a teacher was being a teacher aide in your class. I do have to thank Pat for all he did to help me get 
to the place that I am today. And because of the extra time that you took with me, I was able to really do it and pursue my higher education, get a degree in the performing arts and move to New York City and do it for real. So it all started with you, Pat. I hope you know that. I would not be where I am today without you, truly. If it weren't for you, I absolutely would never have found my love of theater and I definitely wouldn't have been brave enough to pursue the arts after high school. I'm studying film now. I wouldn't be without um, without South Eugene and especially your teachings. I dropped out of school in Wisconsin uh, and moved to LA and since then did a bunch of short films and a feature film that I made with some other South alum. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to school at uh, CalArts and just loving it there. So yeah, I would not be here without you. I absolutely love performing and you kind of planted the seeds of that really early on. I'm just finishing up work on my theater thesis for undergrad um, and sort of reflecting back on all of my theater education and experience. And I am so grateful to have this opportunity to thank you <laughs> because you really molded what my expectations are for what a good director <laughs> looks like and, and what a good theater education is. Uh, I definitely thought that theater was like kind of interesting before I came to high school and then I came to Pat's program and he just completely revolutionized the way that I thought about theater and made me fall completely in love with it. And now I'm in a BFA program preparing to do this for the rest of my life. Uh, and I have Pat to thank for that. I mean, I'm who I am and I'm doing what I'm doing in New York because of Pat and because of how he believed in all of us. You gave me the courage to go after what I really wanted in my life. And now I am pursuing a degree in theater arts and I could not have done that without you. In terms of things that I've learned and carried with me, uh, I think the more fun you have, the more fun you have is one of the most important and wonderful phrases um, in the artistic world. You taught me to not give up, even when I wanted to. To put in the work, to put in the time, the energy, and do it with a positive attitude and a loving heart. You've taught me to believe in myself. And to take chances. It's to always live in the moment and stay focused on what you're doing and to work hard. How to be professional and <laughs> maturity, certainly. How to get along with others and, and most importantly, the importance of hard work that learning isn't always easy and that learning is something to strive towards and growing and, and making progress whether it be on the stage or in friendships or in community or just in life and i felt like the whole department just had this um you know extraordinary gift of being taught to have sophisticated taste and um quality taste and to expect truthfulness from our fellow actors and from ourselves and from the art that we consumed and um, it truly has served me in my life as a theater maker. Probably the biggest skill that I took from South Theater that has served me in all of my time at college is the importance of really truly listening to other people. South Theater has taught me how to be a better community member and and work for a common goal and work together because you know shows require a lot of collaboration and playing off of each other and so it's not just it's not just me i have to be out there to help everyone and and work with other people you gave me the opportunity to do what i felt like was right or would help um and it worked in some ways and it didn't work in others but it taught me about conflict resolution and about being a good leader and listening to the people who are, you know, part of the community that you care about. Pat really taught me that failure isn't something to be scared of. It's actually something to really value. Um, and just what an amazing learning experience failure can be. There's no project or show that's worth working on if you're not gonna prioritize um, taking care of the people that you're working with first. The theater is more than just the ego of the individual. It's the large group of people working together to put 
the best production together they possibly can. How to empathize with others and how to understand their intentions. He showed me the potential in myself that I didn't even know I had. And that's what made him such an amazing teacher. He taught us more than the subjects of the classes. He taught us about ourselves. I think the biggest thing I learned from Pat was that it's okay to be pushed out of your comfort zone, be a little scared doing things because ultimately that's how we grow. To be able to insert yourself into another world, you have to be grounded in reality. That there is no small parts. I know it's a cliche, but any character is just as important and valuable as the actor thinks they are. That like emotions should be felt really deeply and I learned that I really like that and want to find that in life. Pat taught me that it's okay to keep trying and failing and trying and failing and trying and failing because one of these days you're gonna succeed. You really encouraged me to find out what it is that makes me happy and just do it. The next important thing you taught me is how to not chop my fingers off. That stopped me from cutting my hand off with a chop saw. That was very nice of you. Also, surprisingly, I've still got all my fingers, which I'm going to uh, attribute to your guidance, I guess. But, uh, well, then I've got two more years, so we'll just have to see while we're Yeah, well, South Eugene Theater was like a, like a second home to me. And it wouldn't have been a second home to me if you weren't there, Pat. And I just found a family and I just found a home. Being able to walk into the department at any time and just to know that there were people there who I could talk with, laugh with, who cared about me. It obviously meant so much to me at the time to have a community of people who I could be vulnerable with. And I will never forget the sigh of relief I always got when I walked into the little theater knowing that it was a safe place place to create and to explore. Thank you for providing that space for us. Uh, my favorite memory of South Eugene Theater would have to be my very, very last show at South, which was Noises Off. Somehow we convinced you, Pat, to come on stage and perform a cameo on closing night. And so you actually did it, came on stage, and you actually brought the house down. I'll never forget it. Anytime that Pat would say that we had like a late rehearsal or we had to come in on the weekends to build a set and his explanation for why we had to do that was that that's life in the theater. <laughs> My favorite memory of Pat is uh, I was a senior at the University of Michigan and I was doing the Drowsy Chaperone and opening night he flew out and surprised me and also Simon Longnight and Aiden Ziegler Hansen who are both in the show. Um, we walked out of the stage door and Pat was standing there in his opening night baby t-shirt and I completely lost it. I loved when we went to the Shakespeare Festival to pick out costumes for Three Musketeers. That is definitely one of my favorite memories, um, roaming through those like aisles and like I would be running through and I would up into one and I would see you wearing a costume or something. I'd say a show experience that really stands out to me is the Laramie Project. Thinner Than Water really sticks out. Thinner Than Water was so lit. Dogfight, noise is off. Thoroughly Modern Millie at State. Bright Star. House and Garden. House and Garden. Be More Chill. Be More Chill. In the Woods. Wonder of the World. Silent Sky. Spring Awakening. Spring Awakening. Spring Awakening is something that I will never forget and it makes me happy every time that I think about it. During Spring Awakening Tech, when we were trying to figure out how to end act one and it was like 11 p.m. and we just kept trying formation after formation and concept after concept, none of which were good, none of which ended up being in the show. Um, but we were all just laughing so much and so like exhausted and just so everything was funny. Um, and I just remember kind of being on that stage and just never wanting that moment to end and just wanting to laugh and be silly and come up with bad ideas with these people forever. Um, and Pat being a part of that and being willing to indulge us in our fun was really great. And I had these incredible once in a lifetime experiences, like nationals, I never would have guessed that I'd be spending the last, the end of my senior year in Nebraska on a stage performing in front of 5,000 theater kids. And I'm so grateful that I had that opportunity because of, because of SET and because of you. When we started class by 
shoving people through holes in ropes. James started asking him all these questions about his worst injuries, and he told us a 30-minute story keeping us till 7 about this car crash that he was in. And it was so crazy and so fun to just sit there as a group and listen to him tell this crazy story. And I very much apologize for dumping a bunch of glitter onto the floor of the Little Theater, my second day of drama one. Not my brightest moment, but it was a moment. <laughs> I remember a spontaneous game of Get Down, Mr. President that broke out before class starting in Drama 3-4, which ended abruptly as Pat walked into the room. Everyone just lowered their hands. No one was going to tackle Pat. Sometimes you had a slight habit of starting a sentence and then leaving and then coming back and finishing your sentence. And um, some of us had this idea, the suspicion really, that you were actually a crime-fighting superhero called Patman, and that when you were disappearing mid-sentence, you were actually, your, your pat senses were tingling, you were going to fight crime, and we thought that that was just the most amazing um, responsibility. Um, the fighting crime, yeah, but mostly the teaching. You were really taking on the troubles of the world there. And so we all were so grateful. A lot of sleeping during run throughs a lot of word games during run-throughs. It was the dress rehearsal for Silent Sky and he told me that he wasn't convinced that I liked men on stage. <laughs> Drama one in the mornings and watching Pat's eyes go from half mass, not awake yet, to ah, the coffee just hit. Learning to play Party Quirks, where we got to see everyone's best impersonation of Pat Avery. Assistant directing for a Midsummer Night's Dream and learning that my duties included searching for Pat's coffee mug and finding nine of them hidden around the theater. And uh, when you dapped, that was an incredible experience. Tearing down and rebuilding the little theater with you and my dad and Ethan. Oh, another one of my favorite memories was my first memory of Pat was when I first auditioned for Arcadia. I went up there and I was like, hi, I'm Avery Munson. And he was like, what's your name? And I was like, Avery, and he was like, I like that name. The the delicious lunches that you cooked uh, for us when you hired me to work in your garden and in your yard one summer and um, yeah, standing with you in the backyard and in the driveway and talking about shows and, and eating tasty burgers. I'm gonna go ahead and cut right to the chase here. I've been reading up on Oregon Legislature. There's no way that those pay to play fees are legal. So I'm gonna be holding Kenny hostage until you Return them to my banking account, thanks very much. Please do something. Anyway, happy retirement, Pat. We wish you all the best. Yeah, and uh, if anyone tries to hug you, just tell them, save, save that for the, the bus, bus ride home. home. Like, for my senior thing, you said that I had a, that we had a special rapport, and um, that made me really happy, and I like agree. The fact that Pat took a chance was like, this freshman is begging to play the cow in Into the Woods. The fact that he let me and he welcomed me into the drama department. I would be okay playing a cow again. Sometimes people leave you halfway through the world.
you're a quintessential part of this department and we're all gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you, Pat. South will miss you. Have a wonderful retirement. You deserve it. I wish you a happy and content retirement, knowing how much you've inspired us. I hope that you play lots of golf and um, have fun. I hope life treats you well because you deserve it. And I hope that you in retirement are able to spend more time with your grandson. Watch lots of sports and all that. Kick back and relax. You deserve it. <sighs> Go Ducks. Yeah, you're a really cool Pat. You should get your second degree in some other discipline like undergrad. Like I totally support that. And I just want to say good luck in your retirement and hopefully me and Jacoby will see you in Portland. I hope you have a wonderful retirement and I'm going to miss you. I'm really excited for your next chapter. Hopefully you can do some community theater in, in Portland or something, or just take a long ass break because you deserve it. And even though students are, we're losing a really great leader and um, someone who supported performing arts with such passion. I know that your influence goes far beyond your physical presence in the theater department. Cheers to an incredible career in the arts. Good luck, Pat. I know that you're gonna kick ass doing nothing and hang out with your grandson. I hope you have a wonderful retirement and you do things that make you really happy. I really hope retirement treats you well and I'm gonna miss you and Shaw so much. Have a great retirement, buddy, because you earned it. <laughs> I really hope you come back to say hi to us. I can't wait to see all your pictures from your travels to golf courses and theaters around the world. I hope you have the most wonderful, restful retirement. Full of joy and fun and um, that you spend lots of time with your grandkids and cheer on them ducks. You get to take a nice deep breath, play some golf, see your grandkids, um, and that you'll come back and visit South sometimes and see the legacy that you've left behind because, you know, we're all over the place now, but it's all because of you and we appreciate you and everything you've done. Thank you for being such an amazing teacher to all of us. We all appreciate you a lot. Thank you, Pat. Thank you for everything, Pat. I can't say it enough. Thank you for giving me the courage to pursue my dream. Thank you so much, Pat. Thank you so much for all the time and all the energy that you just gave so selflessly. Isn't it crazy how the years pass by? You can blink your eyes and you're standing at the finish line. Thank you so much for everything that you do for Isn't the department. Isn't it wonderful how life can give you everything you never thought to ask for? Then make you say goodbye. We just want to tell you that we all appreciate you, you know so it's much. Bittersweet. Beginnings always have themselves and other endings, don't you know? Thank you, Pat, for making the theater such a wonderful place. And we're all standing here A thousand faces in the hallway Smiling to you as you go Thank you for helping me grow Thank you. I'll see you again It's not a goodbye I'll see you on down the line Thank you for your encouragement yeah. and inspiration. Thank you, Pat. For everything that you've contributed to this community and to your students. Thank you so much. For everything. Thank you. I needed that push that you gave me. Thank you, Pat. You're caring enough to always be honest with your students and truly have their best interests in mind. For giving me a second home at school and a second family in the South Eugene Theater Department. Thank you for everything. Though it's bittersweet, beginnings always have themselves in other don't you Thank know? you so much, Pat, for believing in me. And we're all standing here, a thousand faces in the hallway, smiling to you.
when your work speaks for itself, don't interrupt.